Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. Welcome to Throwback Thursday. I realize I'm coming in late today, but I'm doing the best I can. Man, the holidays are busy and it keeps me running behind. But I did have this fun idea for another cute tag tutorial that I wanted to share with you. Today we're working with Echo Park's Gnome for Christmas. This came out last year and we're using the 6x6 pad. This is a really cheery, festive collection. This has got some great prints like these little stockings, um, little Santa Clauses. Of course, there's gnomes. But there's plenty in here for you if you're not a gnome person. So like buffalo plaid, little cars with trees, ornaments, snowflakes, Nordic prints. It's a really great collection and I love the traditional colors. So I pulled this out along with some Graphic 45 regular craft tags and I used my regular tag die to make this quick and easy little gift card holder. This is a fun, fun, fast project. We've got a belly band here. On the back, there's a little note card where you can write your greeting. And there's a candy cane. And this little envelope pulls out. These would be great also as place cards at your holiday table. These are great little stocking stuffers. I used my envelope punch board to make a three by four envelope using the patterned papers. And then inside I put a Ghirardelli chocolate square. And I also used my wax seals to make this little seal for the envelope. So if you wanna put a gift card or a cash gift or something like that in there. But these are super cute, super quick and easy to make. And I just wanna show you how. Everything slips under the belly band. I also die cut little tags and then stamped them with the stamps that come with the collection. I use this little Mary banner, this little Nordic print, and then a bunch of these little pine boughs and dots to just stamp off a quick tag and then spattered it with a little gold paint. Button, bow, these are little tiny jingle bells and really cute bead ornaments that my buddy Brenda sent me in a love package. I'm having so much fun with that stuff, Brenda, so thanks a million, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so I've made, and then of course the little candy cane just slips in here. If you didn't want to use chocolate, you could put a tea bag in there. You know, use what you like to make these fun. But we'll take a quick look at each of these. Um, I used three by fours from the from the paper collection and trimmed them down to fit the little envelopes. So you can just see these are super cute and fun. You could hang these on the tree. You could put them in a basket as part of your home decor. They're great if you're doing a Secret Santa gift. Um, just lots and lots of fun. So let's make one together. This is going to be a quick tutorial because I'm running super late and I want to get this out today. So the first thing you're going to do is die cut a liner. And then I cut mine in half. Well, they're not quite half, but I cut them into two pieces. And what I did was from the bottom, I measured up. Actually, I think what I did was from the top down. Yes, I put it and cut it at three. So we're going to put, just to make it a little more interesting than a plain piece, but you could certainly do it with a plain piece and it wouldn't be a problem. We're going to glue this down. And when I'm centering these up on my die, I always start by covering the grommet first, and then I adjust as needed to make sure I'm straight. And I'm gonna flip mine to the back side so that it looks like I've used two different pieces, patterns of paper here. It's just a sneaky little trick that adds visual interest. Then I have cut from the off cut, from die cutting this, and I die cut all six at the same time. You'll have a piece over on the right. You can just cut that off and you'll have this little belly band. So we're using all the parts. 
you end up using a complete piece of six by six paper, which means there are no scraps to deal with, which I also like. A little glue here on the outside edge, and I'm just gently folding this over. I'm not doing it too tight because I want to be able to have a little give so that I can put my little gift card envelope in there. It would be great to have a basket of these. I don't know if you're like me, but I always remember somebody at the last minute, oh no, I forgot to do a gift for the guy who does our yard, or oh no, I forgot. So I'm gonna come up here about a half an inch below the top of my belly band with 3 8 inch score tape. I'm gonna press that down. I'm going to come in with my ribbon and you can use whatever ribbon you like. And of course this works with whatever paper collection you happen to have on hand, which is also nice. And we're just gonna make a simple cut. We're just gonna tie a square knot. I want to pull my tails over here to the left. Almost, it looks like a little sash, which is cute. And I'm going to fold the ends in half and trim to make that little fishtail end on there. All right. Once you've tied your knot, flip this back over. This is a three by four piece of white paper, white card stock that I've stamped with those stamps and inked the edges. And this is gonna go on the back, just like that. Now come around here. I strung a couple of little jingle bells and one of these cute paper balls. I'm gonna put my glue, hot glue right here on the knot. Just set those in there. Like that. Then I'm gonna come in with a mulberry flower and add some glue. And tuck this right here. I'll come back and add a leaf. I thought I had pulled a leaf out, but I guess I didn't. So we can set this aside for right now. Here's my little envelope. This is three and a quarter by four. This is for gift cards. And I'm gonna put in here my chocolate and the wax seal so that when I get ready, to close this up and give it, I'm all set to go. Oops. Here's my image, my three by four that I trimmed down to fit the envelope. See, this is so fast and so easy. You could make a bunch of these in no time. Give them to your book club, put a little uh, gift certificate to a bookstore in there. If you have a coffee club, you get the idea. You can just do, you can have a lot of fun with these. All right. This tucks into the belly band. Then I have this little tag. And this one, I guess we'll have to kind of do, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this one. Maybe I'll use something else. Hold on. Yeah, let's take this Merry Everything and Happy Always. And I'm only going to put my glue in the middle. I want to snug it up because you don't want to go over your belly band because then you can't take your envelope out, which is tragic. I've got this little star. And let's put a star up in this corner. 
and another star. Down in this corner. See how cute this is, and it comes together so fast. Oops. Okay. Here's our candy cane. It's going to slip in to our belly band like this. All right. Here's our tag piece of ribbon. We're going to thread it through here. Here's our little tag where you can write the name. You could even put these on a gift package to make it really special. I just think these are fun and I love tags and they're so great at the holidays. I'm going to take <laughs> I'm going to take one of these pieces of string and wrap it around and then tie a little shoestring bow And then I've threaded a Christmassy button. I'm going to put it right over the knot. A lot of you have asked me where I get my charms, and I will tell you everywhere. I get them everywhere. I look at the big box craft stores. I look on... Um, I look on Etsy, I look at yard sales, I look at um, estate sales, old jewelry. Um, there, so really, I, there's no way I could link to these charms for you because I have no idea where they came from. People give them to me. I get them as presents from my kids and my husband. I mean... There's just no way I could tell you where I got these. So just do some searching and you'll find really funky junky boutique is a great place to find charms. So there we go, guys, all finished. Look how cute these are. So fun to give, really cheery, great if you're doing an office party too, gift exchange, anything like that. So there you go, Echo Park, Gnome for Christmas, cute gift tag, gift card holders, treat tags, whatever you want to call them, a super fast and easy tutorial for the holidays. That is it for me, Kathy Clement, Kathy by Design. You will find a linked supply list on my blog, and I'll link to my blog in the description box below this video. All right, guys, go get your craft on. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hey ho!
seated by my side. The horse was lean and lame. 